The lowest of the low, tasteless. Twitter is calling out the new Harry and Meghan movie. Welcome to Access Hollywood. I'm Mario Lopez. And I'm Kid Hoover. Wow, guys, last night's debut of Lifetime's Harry and Meghan escaping the palace mm. shocked viewers with that opening scene that depicted Princess Diana's car crash, but with Meghan inside the car. The shocking scene is an eerie reenactment of the real-life death of Diana, who died in a car crash 24 years ago. Paparazzi had been chasing her black Mercedes. <laughs> Only in this scene, Megan is the one in the car, and we learn it was Harry's nightmare. The same people that chased her into the tunnel photographed her dying on the back seat of that car. Prince Harry has long blamed the paparazzi for the death of his mother and recently talked about his fears for Meghan on the Apple TV Plus docu-series, The Me You Can't See. You want to talk about history repeating itself? They're not going to stop until she dies. And that's not where the Meghan and Diana parallels in the film end. I just didn't want to be alive. The movie recreates Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah in which Meghan famously confessed to having suicidal thoughts. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. And compares Meghan's confession to a similar one made by Princess Diana. I threw myself down the stairs. In real life, Diana did throw herself down the stairs, but in the movie, the filmmakers took some dramatic license, suggesting Meghan considered doing the same thing, too, by cutting back and forth between the two women. We approached it with a lot of respect. Sydney Morton, who plays Meghan, and Jordan Dean, who plays Harry, hope the film helps humanize the people behind the headlines. I hope people see another side of them that they haven't been exposed to before. A vulnerability that I, I think we captured on screen. Your mom would be so proud of you. Well, and if you want more Royals, guys, we're also getting a sneak peek at season five of The Crown. Elizabeth Debicki is spot on, guys, as Princess Diana in a scene with Dominic West as Prince Charles and a very young William and Harry.